Hello, everybody. My name's Bill, and I know stuff. Today, what I know is I'm going to continue my Shotcut for Beginner series, and I am going to be dealing with multiple video layers. And what that is, is when you bring in multiple tracks and you layer them all together, kind of like I'm going to do here. I've got three tracks that I'll be dealing with. I'm going to show you various effects and transitions that you can do with those videos. It makes your video look sharp. You've done a little bit of this if you did my uh, my beginner tutorial where you added a title layer. It's almost the same thing, but you're dealing with video now. Let's jump in, have some fun, get this done. As always, if you appreciate my video, please, I'll take a like anytime and I can use all the friends I can get. So please subscribe to the channel if we've got something for you. All right, we're going to start in Shotcut and I have pulled in three short video clips that we're going to be working with for this. And I'm just going to drag them in. And for this, you're going to want to add each one to its own, each track to its own uh, line. And I only need about 30 seconds of each one, so I'm just going to set it for that just to make it a little bit easier to keep an eye on things. All right, there we go. Roughly three tracks of 30 seconds or so. And you'll notice as if you look at them, the bottom track, if you look at them, the only one you're seeing is a sunset track. And that's the way it works in Shotcut. Whichever one is on the, the top video layer is the one you're going to see. So for instance, if I drag the rain puddles up to the top, and put that up there, you'll notice that's there. If I drag it off to the side where the where the uh, playhead is, you'll see the forest mist. So whichever is the top video clip, that's the one that takes precedence. All righty. Easy enough to see. And let's drag time right out. Oop, a, little, a little more than I want right there. Now, the first thing you working with different tracks we can do different transitions things like that and some of the easiest i actually have to do with just changing the opacity of different tracks so the top one we'll go ahead and grab that go to filters open that up go to video you want to find opacity right there now, watch, watch the display up here as I change it from 100 and bring it down. You'll see you start to see the clip below it. So you can see the forest mist clip in there. And wherever kind of looks good to you, go with it. And I'll just play a little bit of that. So I think that looks very interesting in and of itself. But that's one way uh, to create a transition is just to change that. And if I draw that one off to the side, let's go ahead and do the same thing with this one. We'll add the opacity filter again, just to take a look at it. Now in this one, you've actually got some different, different colors. It's not quite so similar. Let's go with that and let's just play a little bit of it. So it's kind of, kind of interesting. You kind of get the mist water. And that's just one way of doing a transition with this, the same video tracks without doing anything else. All right. Let's go ahead and reset these. I'm going to remove the opacity filter off of each one. Now, one of the other effects you can create, and this is just like creating a transition, only you don't have to overlap it. We're going to use our fade in video on this and you can set the time for this and but when you do that filter let's uh i'm just going to do it for the whole 30 seconds because I, I i want part of that and hit that adjust opacity instead of fade and now that automatically creates a, a effect that's going to change you notice you're on full-on forest mist and we play this 
and it transitions and you will transition from one clip to another and be able to see it. And you don't have to do this for 30 seconds. You could set it for five or 10, whatever, whatever works for you, but it's an interesting effect and it's a nice transition. All right, we'll go ahead and stop it there. Now you can stack these. So let's take the clip up under and instead of fade in, I'm going to fade out. And we'll also do this one for 30 seconds. If I can type. All right, adjust opacity. And you can see one's going one way, one's going the other. And we can actually see the sunset bleeding in just a little bit. So let's start this from the beginning. And you notice we're getting a little bit of all three clips and it's varying over time. This might be overkill for some things, but it also works if you have different tracks, you want to lay them on top of each other, you want to get uh, different effects going. I think it, I think it comes out quite nice. I mean, we had that sunset just kind of fade through, go in, go out and come back. All right, that's just working with filters with them stacked on top of each other. The last thing I'm gonna do for this is we're gonna split these up and get some split video going. So let me go ahead and remove the filters that we have on there right now. Now you already know that the, the top clip has precedence. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get all three of these clips playing side by side. And to do that, we're going to use a filter called Crop. And it's called Crop Source. If you don't have it in your favorites, uh, it'll be in there. Now, uh, I'm assuming your video is 1920 by 1080. It might be something else. You select the clip and go to Properties and pull it up. And you'll see 1920 by 1080. And let's say we want to get all three of these going on the screen at the same time. We want to crop this um, to the filter. So we want it we want it in thirds and we'll do it equally in thirds, make it make it easier. Let me drop this down just a little. There we go. You can see all of it. So with this crop, you can set top, bottom, left and right. We're just going to take we just want the center of this and to make it easy and 1920 divided by three is 640. So since we only want a third of it, we're gonna crop 640 off each side. You notice the second clip down bleeds through immediately. And we're not gonna leave this in the center. We're gonna go ahead and shift it, all right? And to do that, we're gonna add a second filter and this is size, position and rotate. And this is easy. You can actually drag it and set it where you want. But an easier way is just do this horizontal fit. If you're going side to side, we're just going to tell it to go left. All right. And if you play that, you'll get the center of one and then the rest of the other playing up. The, all the clips are still there, but you're only seeing the ones that have precedence right now. Now, let's go to the second clip. We're going to do the same thing. We want to add that crop filter. So cropping source, we're going to take the center of it. So 640 by 640 again. And now let's add the size position rotate. And we're going to shift this one all the way to the right. And you notice the top, the bottom, and we didn't even have to crop the bottom one because we're just getting the center third of that. So you can crop this one if you want, or you can just let it be because you'll get all three of them going. Makes an interesting effect. I like that. And you don't have to do three. You can divide this up any way you want it. Just remember, you need to take up your screen space. And that's how you do it. Now, I'll touch on this really briefly. I'm going to I'm going to remove all these filters again cuz I think it's easier to start from a, a known spot. And instead of going side by side, I'm going to go up and down and we're going to split screen it that way. 
So same thing here. We're going to crop. And we want to go top and bottom. So this is 1080. And I, I, I'm not going to get the whole thing, but half of that is going to be 490. There we go. Uh, I can do math. And we want either the top or the bottom of it. So I'm just going to do the top of this one, 490. And same thing. We're going to add size position. They have a vertical fit, and you can do top, bottom. We'll go ahead and send that to the top. And you automatically have the other one split off on there. And there you go. And that's how you do that and work with multiple video layers. There's a lot more you can do with this, but it just takes up time. And you this gives you the basics to go in and do your own experimentation and play with it. You can do all kinds of things. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. If it is, please drop me a like. I can use all the friends I can get. Hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out. I'm Bill. Y'all be good. Take care now. Bye-bye.